What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're going to talk about Jeepers Creepers 4 again. Jeepers Creepers Reborn. So a new website was launched uh, on Friday, I believe, to go along with that competition that they started up where they'll basically be going out and giving you some screen use props like a limited edition, like screen use, I think, makeup of the Creeper, one of the throwing blades with a tooth in it, posters, some of the uh, gear that was worn on set some of the props even that i already went over but that's essentially what the website was for for that competition and it also was just like another outlet for you to sign up to get email alerts and notifications about any exclusive news before i guess they put out those tweets about it and that type of good jazz and then the most interesting stuff for some of us who didn't care about that like myself <laughs> were the images that you saw on the website we saw some new images from the film there's one image that i couldn't really get a uh, proportion correctly but there's an image on the website if you go into like the behind the scenes section where you get to see the creeper's hand sticking out um it looks of, of course very skeletal i guess to go along with the fact that it's just re being reborn and then you have an image of lane that you see here on your screen surrounded by what you can only imagine and assume is the cult of the creeper and when i say the cult i'm not saying that this cult has been around forever and that this has always been a thing but this more than likely would go right along with what i have been trying to say is who knows how this thing has grown in the past 23 years while it's been in old man taggart's barn the mythos around it could have been tossed around the community which could have led to certain online forums online sections dedicated to this thing certain groups in real life meeting up dedicating their life to studying the thing in old man tiger's barn and then some people who of course like these people who may think that this this entity could be the key to some own untold riches for them my hope here is that this cult is not the thing that brings the creeper back because if that's the case and we have to sit through a good chunk of the movie before the before the creeper reawakens and it's being reawoken by a summoning of sorts i think that's where people be like oh it's more of the same because you know the cult thing is being used quite a bit in a lot of the more recent movies that we've gotten and it just feels tired at some point i know a lot of people have been staying oh well what if scream 6 does that i think what's what's different there with scream and even the original idea with scream 3 is that it's not related to a supernatural type of thing it's not related to summoning something for untold riches or you know just doing devil work it's not related to that but with this something that could very well be demonic in its origins because we still don't have a clear-cut answer as to what it is it feels kind of just tired coming from this franchise which is already regarding something that's supernatural so i hope this isn't a a a, a case where the creeper has always been summoned and that's some type of magnificent retcon that they'll throw at, throw at us well not even a retcon because i guess you could say we never actually knew if it got up on its own or not but i think that would just cheapen the mystique around the creeper more so than it already has been because again i have been stating that the mystique with this character was in the first movie and not knowing what it was what is is this a man is this something else can it be a man because the stuff that it's doing isn't very human <laughs> but it could be a man because people can do people can surprise you sometimes but then you get your answer that it's, it's not a man at all and you still are left with a question mark as well what is it because of the makeup the unique look of that creature and the first reveal that you get of it still just sticks with me and i'll never forget when i watched that at a very young age it was just like what 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 am i seeing what is this so i hope we don't just like go into a direction where this monster has things that worship it they also summon it and the monster also doesn't mess with these people then again they would be drawing inspiration from the comics i guess it all just comes down to how it's portrayed on stream but i'm not going to say that i still wouldn't be tired of that because of how it's been coming up in a lot of other recent horror films where you have people in cults worshiping things i'm thinking of more specifically like the a24 movies that have been coming out recently uh like hereditary midsummer the black coat's daughter even just all of that stuff with demon demon worshiping and you know devil worship cult like stuff going on revolving supernatural entities which those movies pulled off well uh the production value was a, a, a big assist to that so that's why i think with jeepers creepers were born tackling it that's what has a lot of us worried but 
what I was thinking also is maybe that image of Lane surrounded by those people is going to be them trying to do a sacrifice to the creeper in an effort to again get what they think they will get which is untold riches for some reason that's again going back to how i stated there could have been a community out there that has started building up its own little idea of what this monster is and now they're going to try to see if their theories are correct it would be very much more satisfying if they found out they are indeed wrong and the creeper just slaughters everyone in that room except for lane he completely by steps lane and then goes instantly for all those cults of individuals that are in that room but then again with you know the, the the creeper i wouldn't say is against just killing random people because I'm, I'm pretty sure he he was definitely going to kill taggart if he had the chance because taggart whether you were scared of the creeper or not you were you were my you were not minding your business you were getting involved with the creeper's business and the creeper was going to take taggart out scared or not there was there was not going to be any word about whether taggart was scared or not Taggart kept messing with him so the creeper was going to kill that man and I wouldn't be surprised if he kills him to open up the fourth film and I hope we just get to see like a random attack where the creeper takes the cult out and I think that would be a lot much more satisfying to everyone watching and it's not a case where the creeper is like a leader with all these robed people standing behind it. it i just i just don't want to see that right now i don't want to see it right now we've been seeing it in a lot more recent horror movies and i just would like the creeper to remain cult free in terms of just not you know not being summoned by a cult not being tied to any type of riches it gives out if it is i'll come on here and tell you how it comes off on screen and whether or not it feels cringy whether or not it feels natural or believable which in again given the genre it's in it would be believable it just feels tired for some of us that have been watching a lot of the recent horror movies that come out that involve cult-like stuff <laughs> um even the wrong turn the recent wrong turn put it off so you know you never know but we'll see those are all the things i want to talk about regarding jeepers creepers are born i'll actually leave a link to the new jeepers creepers are born website down in the description so you can go look at it and explore it sign up for all those newsletter opportunities that you haven't even entered that competition to win one of those objects uh let me know what you think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and there's a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video